In this video, you are going to learn how to make a level complete screen that will appear when Pac-Man has eaten all of the dots on the maze. In order to add a level complete screen that's going to appear when we've eaten all the dots in the maze, we first of all need to actually create that screen as a new backdrop for the stage, and then we need to change the code on the stage that checks for when all of the dots have been eaten um, and in, in that code we need to set it so that it changes the background of our maze. So let's get on with that now. So we want to change a staged backdrop so it's pretty straightforward. We click on the stage and we go to the backdrops tab and you'll see there is our maze that we made all the way back at the beginning. So to make a new backdrop we simply press the paintbrush icon and here we can create our new backdrop. Now, for now, you'll see that all of the dots um, are still showing that haven't yet been eaten by Pac-Man and Pac-Man himself is showing. But don't worry about this too much because by the time we get to see the screen we're about to create, all the dots will have been eaten, so they will have disappeared. Um, and I'll show you in a minute how we're gonna make Pac-Man disappear as well. Uh, but for now, let's just get on and focus uh, on making our background screen. So this is quite straightforward. All we have to do is grab a paint bucket tool and choose a color that we want. So I might choose a bit of a navy color and click. And uh, that sets the background color for our backdrop. And then we're gonna use the text tool and you can choose a font. I'm going to choose the built-in scratch font and I'm gonna use yellow text and I'm going to type in level complete. Com Complete. exclamation mark and it's quite small so I'm going to move it and let's make it a bit bigger okay that looks good I'm happy with that um, before we can finish though we just need to name our backdrop because at the moment it's called backdrop 2 so let's call this level complete and this is so that we can identify it easily later and while we're at it let's rename our maze from backdrop one to maze. Um, or if you're going to have multiple levels with different mazes, you could call it something like level one maze. And then you'd have another one for level two, level three and so on. So we've got our two backdrops now. So now we need to make the code that is going to switch from the maze backdrop to the level complete backdrop when we've eaten all the dots. And to do this, we're gonna to go to the scripts tab. But before we do that, why don't we take a moment to pause and you go and create your level complete screens. Okay, so you've got your level complete screen ready to go. We want to change the code on our stage so that we show that screen. So um, click on the scripts tab up here and you'll see all of the um, code that we've written already for our stage. Um, in fact, just so that it's easier to imagine these things, I'm going to switch backdrops back to the, the stage one for now. Uh, okay, back to scripts we are. Um, so the changes we need to make are going to be in this area here where we've got if dots remaining is zero, then broadcast level complete. Okay, so where's that picked up? Well, that's picked up here. When I receive level complete, stop all. Um, well, before we stop all, we want to do that quick change and make it so that we can see the new backdrop we've just created. So to do that, we go to the looks box and under looks, we can switch the backdrop to level complete. So we drag that in there. If yours doesn't say that, then just use the drop down menu and pick level complete, okay? So what we're saying now is when we've run out of dots, broadcast level complete, when I receive level complete, switch the backdrop and then stop. So uh, we can give that a bit of a go and see if that works. Uh, so why don't you go do that yourself and then test it and see how you get on. Great, so I've eaten all of my dots and it's changed to the level complete screen. But the only thing is that Pac-Man is still showing, so it'd be quite nice to make him disappear 
when we get the level complete message sent out as well. And that's really easy to do. All you need to do is click on Pac-Man and we can add an event. When I receive, so when Pac-Man this time receives the message level complete, because when messages are sent, they are um, available for all sprites to pick them up. So when the stage sends out the level complete message, Pac-Man can pick it up and when he picks it up, he will hide. Okay, now we do need to make one other change because if we were to do that, then um, Pac-Man will disappear, but he won't reappear when the game starts again. So in order to fix that, we need to just make sure that when green flag is clicked, we want to send him to the particular place we want him on the maze. We want to point him in the direction we want him in and key, we need to show Pac-Man. If we don't do that, then there's nothing in our program that actually takes us from hiding him when level is complete to showing him again. You can't take it for granted that when we press the green flag, any hidden sprites will magically appear. They will only appear if you tell them to. The computer will only ever do what you program it to do explicitly. Okay, so we need to put that little show in there as well. So again, why don't we pause here and you can make the changes to your Pac-Man sprites and then come back to me. Okay, so we're nearly there. Uh, but if I were to press the green flag button now to start the game again, we have a bit of an, a bit of an obvious problem here. Um, we've got all our dots appearing, Pac-Man's appeared, but we haven't told Scratch to show our maze again. So actually, this is a bit odd. I'm just sort of completing eating up all the dots, but I don't have a maze anywhere. So we need to fix this. So in order to do that, all we want to do is change the stage code um, so that the stage sets its background to be the maze when the green flag is clicked. So that's pretty easy. We've got a when green flag is clicked event listener already. Okay, so that's listening out for when I press this button. And we're, we're resetting our basic variables here and we show our dots. So that's, you know, this is where we're kind of setting up and the word we use is initializing our game. Um, so we want to add something to this. We want to switch backdrop to maze, to level one maze, okay, just before we run the show dot. So let's see if this works. I press the green flag and excellent, there we go. We've got our dots back again, we can play our level and once we've finished eating all the dots we should find that our maze disappears, the level complete screen appears and um, Pac-Man disappears as well. And if we then press the green flag button again, everything is reset and we can start the game once more. So why don't you go and do the same again? So you're gonna change your when green flag is clicked script on your uh, stage. So go and make that change and then check that you too can have it so that when you press green flag again, everything is reset back to normal. So there we go, level complete, Pac-Man is nowhere to be seen and if I press green flag, everything resets. Well done, that's the end of this video.